Hello friends, welcome back again. So in this tutorial, we are going to show another step for data show in the data entry form. So we already show in data entry in the Excel sheet. Uh, so if you miss this tutorial, so first you need to see the previous tutorial, then you can see this. Okay, so let's go for our data show. So that is you can see this is the add new button and uh, all the information when is completed, then you need to add new for insert to the Excel sheet and when the data is preserved to the sheet and you need to show our list box so go to the form and you can see this is the this list box name is list box one so all our data will be show in the list box one and here is you can see this is date name department and phone and this is just like its level and we are going to show all our level there so first we need to go to the user form initialize there is you need to mention the search criteria wise so that is our form drop down list setup so i am going to form drop down list setup again and that is we are going to set up the search criteria and this is for you can see this is the search combo box one as we if you cross check with this this is this name is search combo box so i just copy this and paste it there and there is a combo box will be added so that is you can see this is date name and department and all our criteria there so we just copy this and paste it there one by one we are going to paste there that means we can search any data as per this criteria wise so if you check this run that and there is you can see this is the criteria okay now need to show that your preserved data in the list box one and this is called to be the user form initialize and there is so now we are going to making a function for calling all the information function is name is so this is the so this is our list box one and we are going to fill list And also that is the integral height should be false. There is the column seven column because of there is the seven column you can see. That means we are just mentioning the seven and we need to mention the width. So now we need to mention the column width. So there is you can see this is all our level. And also when you click this and go to the width, then all are width there. So we need to note down this. And there is the first column is and there is the first column is serial number. That means we just need to hide this for this we are just mentioning the zero and this is the they are okay name so this is our column width and we need to paste there so we need to mention the all column widths and this is there and there is a seven column and all our column width mentioned there okay now we need to add another module and we can name this as a search so there is our we name this function is list box fill and that is the we name this function is this box field list and this is for okay so we just naming some variable for our convenience and we are just need to mention the worksheet so there is
this is should be the worksheet so now we need to mention the data entry sheet like So now we are going to mention criteria as search field. That means when the criteria will be matched, then this column wise data will be show. okay so now there are we mentioned these two types criteria date and when the date criteria will be matched then b column wise data will be show and another criteria is name and if the user is select the name then c column wise data will be show so we just we need to copy this and paste it there so there are we need to just mention this department and this is the d column just we need to mention the d column and also another column is uh, phone and which is for e column which is for e column and the next criteria is mobile that means there and which is for f column and the last criteria is and the last criteria is email that means we need to copy this and paste it there and which is g column so we have just mentioned the criteria wise column uh, now we need to the preserve the data and need to show the list box so there are we are mentioning this before the next R so we are just mentioning this and rearranging this properly okay now looks good so in this stage we need to mention one thing like this is our level and uh, how many data are showing in the list box one we need to show we need to show there so that means go to search again and there is the this form name so this level name is data count so we need to copy this and this is the form dot and this should be the level that means we need to mention caption and there is a count So the last one thing is uh, when the data will be show there 
this we can see this is the first column and this is the date column so we need to convert it as a normal value to date value so just comment out this convert date format So now our complete our code and that is you can see this is a search criteria column selection and that is all data will be preserved and data will be shown in our list box. After completing the first column will be converted as a date format. Okay, so we need to properly need to mention the search text box like this is the date when the date and stage to search text box and the search text box too. Why is data will be show and this is should be the text box one and i just need to mention the search text box one and also this is a search text box one and this criteria should be as per search text box and this is also okay so our search input field mentioned properly so you need to recheck again and need to update your code and okay now we need to uh, show our form and that is run okay so all our data will be shown there you can check that this is our three columns so there is you can see there is a three row and this is a three row as for three row there is all data will be shown there okay so now we have successfully show the data in our list box and we need to recheck again code and need to update properly thank you very much for your time and please check our downloadable platform and there is you can see there is a the lot of downloadable tool uh, so you can download it also please if you like this tutorial please buy me a coffee and as well as if you haven't subscribed to our channel then subscribe our channel for more interesting automation tutorials hope see you in the next tutorial and thanks to all